All right, I know I wore the hat last week in my King of the Nerds vlog, but, you know, I didn't get a chance to say this. Pretty cunning, don't you think? Worth it. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of TV Tangents. I've only got one subject on my mind this week, and it's taken me about four or five weeks to accept that it's true. True Detective Season 2. Kind of sucks, doesn't it? I mean, I don't want to go massively into the specifics, because if I'm being honest, m hundreds of people way smarter than me uh, online are taking it apart scene by scene, sort of really getting to the nitty gritty of why it doesn't quite work this year. Some people of course are enjoying it. Um, I kind of think it sucks. I mean the biggest problem I think if I'm summing it up is that it's a crime I'm not particularly interested in and a bunch of characters saying and doing outlandish things that really only serve to disguise how truly two-dimensional they are. Season one had this really clear and concise direction and season two seems to be just sort of meandering around like looking for that direction by sort of finding shiny things and waving them in front of us and going, "This is this it? Is this the thing you're gonna give a shit about? And the answer, you know, evidently is no. And then the show goes on continuing its search for things that we care about. And if I'm being honest, if we're, if we're playing the blame game here, um, I'm pointing firmly in the direction of the writer. Um, they had, do have different directors this year, but they've been very competent. They've done a pretty good job. It looks pretty good on the whole. I mean, Justin Lin did a wonderful job with the first two episodes. But, you know, uh, it, it still, the, the direction is not really the problem. And on the whole, the acting's been pretty good as well. I mean, you can't cast people like these people and not at least get a decent performance out of them, if not an amazing one. So the problem for me lies with the writer. What I think, and I'm speculating here, so, you know, I'm going to put the big the big speculation banner. You know, I think that he wrote the first season over a couple of years, maybe, sort of in the build-up to it being sort of picked up. You know, he had lots of time to sort of develop it and fine-tune it and really focus it to the sort of the condensed story that we got, an excellent story. Um, and the second season, he's probably only had a matter of months to put together, um, you know, because of shooting schedules. And... There's a reason most shows have writing teams. Um, and I think he realised that because I read that he'd ha brought at least one other person on to help him break stories towards the end of the season. So maybe it will get better. But I think that essentially, uh, lesson learned here is if he does a, second, a third season, he should get other people involved in the writing. I, th I don't think it's necessarily um, possible for him to maintain the season, the quality of season one on his own, um, you know, while... Uh, the production schedule is what it is. Unless they give him like a two year gap between each season, then we'd have a different matter, I think. If he had two years to do it, I think that's possible. Um, but the, the, the year he gets now with the turnaround, the production schedule and the casting, it's just not enough time. He's also trying really hard to maintain a sort of true detective-y tone. And it's almost ended up becoming a parody of its own first season. And I'll be honest, the problem is completely exasperated by the fact that he has lines like this. You don't want to look hungry. Never do anything out of hunger, not even eating. God forgive me for misreading what subtle clues you embed for me in your limp dick, which is as wishy-washy as your fucking mood. Those moments, they stare back at you. You don't remember them, but they remember you. I think you were saying no to the kid you once were. Point is, when I sat down to watch episode 5, I had an incredible realisation. I didn't have to fucking watch it. How did it take me five episodes to figure this out? I mean, I wasn't into it from episode one and I was downright dreading it when I turned on episode four. Like I was I was dreading having to sit through it. And, and yet I did four weeks on the trot. It was only when I sat down for the fifth week that I went, uh, yeah, all right, I think I'm done. I think the problem is that the first season was of a certain quality and that earned it a certain amount of like credit, like a certain amount of patience. The problem is that it ran through that credit pretty quickly this season when it started to eat itself. I feel a little bit like the first season just like held a gun to my head, like for the entire, for like, I, I, the first episode I watched willingly and then after that the, f the last season was just there like, remember me? Watch it. Watch it now. In you will enjoy this show. Yes, you, no, you'll like it. 
you'll put up with Vince Vaughn. You won't mind Vince Vaughn. The weird thing is, the first season was fairly flawed in itself, particularly the end, so I'm not sure where it got the gun, if I'm being completely honest with you. So yeah, I just sort of wanted to get that off my chest, like, I don't think it's actually True Detective's fault, I think I'm more in the wrong, because I'm mad at the show, mostly, for, for holding my attention longer than it deserved it, but really that's my own fault. I should have watched the second episode and gone, I'm not invested in any of this, it's very flat, I don't like any of these characters, I don't care about this storyline, click but I didn't. So I think what I've learned is that I'm a moron. I think that's the main lesson here um, because there are plenty of bad shows on television and it's not newsworthy, it's not noteworthy. There are you know, some shows I like and some shows I don't. I'm not even saying they're universally bad, I'm just saying there are plenty of shows on television that I don't like. Other people love them, that's great, but they don't suit me, they, I, I don't, but I don't sit myself through them. So I don't know, I, I, I'm to blame here, I, do you know what I mean? So it's a strange situation. So thanks for watching TV Tangents, that's my random thought for the week. Uh, I'll see you again in a couple of weeks time for more of the same. A man films a YouTube video in this hat. You know he's not afraid of anything.